So we've had some pretty cool guests on the show, but maybe none as cool as this little lady. Meet Duet, <laughs> a miniature therapy yes. horse. Yes. And she, along with the Tiny Spirits organization, mm -hmm. helps people with autism. Mm -hmm. And Duet is making her television debut, as is <laughs> Gail Gordon. <laughs> and we have Terry Janison with us as well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, ladies, you for joining us. Sure. This is Autism Awareness Month, so it's a perfect time to have Duet here with us. Yes. So tell me what she does. So Duet is a miniature horse, mm -hmm. and she goes on site to facilities. And equines have been shown to be quite effective with autism. Mm -hmm. They're calm and quiet, and they reduce stress and anxiety. I understand, like the people that are, that are with the horse, they're they're having some one-on-one -on -one time. They're they petting are. them, they're brushing them, they're giving them treats, and that kind of has a calming effect too. And exactly. there's a connection there. She does best with one-on-one. -on -one, at most, maybe two mm -hmm. on one. <laughs> two on one, right? It's like she was saying yes. Though. Yes, yeah, and, and they're allowed to brush talk, yeah. and. Uh, and groom her. Oh, that's uh -uh. cool. Come here. And right Terry, here. You, you, you have a lot of events coming up um, to mark Autism Awareness Month. Can Good. you tell us about one of those? I know is a, is a pretty big one, right? Absolutely. So our 5K uh, Race for Hope is this Saturday, and it actually wraps up Autism Awareness Month, which started April 1st. And so we're very excited to have Duet come out. We've, we're going to be at the UNLV sc uh, school out on the green out there. We're expecting about 1,400 families to participate. Wow. Um, and we're just really excited to, to talk about this potential partnership for our families, because as you know, the families on the spectrum can be from very yes. nonverbal mm -hmm. all the way to very high functioning. So it's just going to be very exciting to see what the response is when, when Duet comes out there that yes. morning. That, and she will definitely be there at the race. That'll be really cool. But can you tell about the, her cool shoes that she has on? She's so, decked out. These are uh, almost like a tennis shoe. They're uh -huh. rubber boots so that she doesn't slip and slide on mm -hmm. floors when she goes into hospitals and places. When like you that. see a therapy horse, is it like a therapy dog where I shouldn't be petting her or only if I ask you first? If you ask first, and uh, usually I am at something like an mm -hmm. autism facility where I have someone facilitating for us and introducing the horse. Yeah. Yes. So one of the things that we're going to do is make sure that we've got a, a very special location out on the campus because yes. there are going to be so many individuals there um, and then and, and we'll have them separated so that and then we'll let Gail make sure that she has control of right. that. Right, otherwise that <laughs> yes. could be a little difficult. Yes. Terry, <laughs> with Grant a Gift you work with so many families in and around the valley. What are some of the things you guys have done over the years and will be doing to help those families? Well, Kendall, Thank you for asking. So the, the Grant Gift Autism Foundation three years ago jointly opened up the Ackerman Autism Center with the UNLV School of Medicine and we're the only autism center in the entire state of Nevada that sees children from diagnosis through all their therapies up through daily living skills and then vocational training to get them employed into the community. Love it. That yeah. is beautiful. And, and so we actually have and, and we're not the only ones. Everybody has a wait list because there's not enough providers within the state of Nevada. So we have 3,200 children waiting to be wow. seen in Ackerman alone. Yeah. I know for the Race for Hope, you can, you can race, or there's a walk, and I guess there's a special one for kids as well, a little route for there kids. There is, yes. We've got a half mile for the children 10 and under, and this is a non-time, so it's really a big family resource fair as well. Mm -hmm. So even if you want to come out, you can walk or you can run, um, and then we'll have like 30 <laughs> different booths out there for families to find the resources that they might need for the services they need here in Clark County. And, not of course, come say hi to Duet. Exactly. Hi to duet. <laughs> not Terry's first television appearance, but for Gail and Duet, fantastic Great job. job. Very, Look at very you. well done. You did done. so well. Thank, Thank you all well. for being here. Thank really you enjoyed so much. Yes, the you. Grant a Gift Autism Foundation's 10th Annual Race for Hope. You heard Terry say it is this Saturday, April 27th. You can go to grantagiftfoundation.org for more info. And don't forget to follow them on social media, too.